we started in 2000. Yeah, I, shall I just st tell the story? Yeah, 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 sure. It started in 2004, I think, as a collective, and it was like on a different location in Basel, next to Hirschenegg. It's like a, the last like collective left. Uh, like uh, organized uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, just one thing, can we put just a little bit uh, low the music? Okay. So we won't have the, the uh, noise uh, audio problem. Not not to cut, but just. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I forgot. Ciao. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so Plotfon was uh, started 2004 um, as a collective next to um, Hirschenegg, a different location. Um, we stayed there till uh, 2000, I think, eight. Mm -hmm. Then we had uh, a new spot in. It was possible to get a new spot, but at the end it didn't work out, so we went into another shop. It was more like a hippie uh, shop with mm. like uh, more like psychedelic and crowd and stuff. And then we came here 2009 um, and we um, collaborated with a gallery called Stampa and they did all the books. So the record shop was like a lot of uh, half books, half records, but the books are less important now. Um, and then we uh, we stay here since 10 years. And now we will, uh, it was mostly like, I mean, in the beginning it was a collective till like 2010 or something. Then I did a lot of stuff alone and Kind of, I had two or three people working, and now we will change it back to a more like a collective with like three people and open the range of the genres. We were very focused on um, more like experimental and electronic music, and now we have more second hand again since the clubs are closed. <laughs> yeah, now we have more second hand. And we will also like put more records in the shop and less books because it sells way better the, the vinyl and also the CDs are a bit over so we will focus more on just vinyl. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, how how is it going on for you um, right now? I mean, with yeah. this special situation with COVID and all that, yeah. how, how do you how do you feel about that? Do you still have your? Yeah, as long as we are open, it's kind of okay, and there is way more selling online now with discogs, and maybe a bit less people in the shop during the week. Um, yeah, people are not going out, but somehow more people buying music, I think, because there is not so much, not so much things going on, so people are listening to music. Yeah, they still spend their money more, on music, yeah, now more they on money can't than go out alcohol. for drinks, yeah, exactly, <laughs> no alcohol, more music. <laughs> That's good. Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's more healthy for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So so it's okay for you. Yeah, it's okay. I don't see. Uh, I mean, there was like a really big boost after the lockdown. Like people were buying a lot, and because we also focused more on second-hand records, it was kind of yeah, not such a big problem for us. So yeah. the second-hand are quite popular here. Yeah, yeah. people are really but like random people buying random records okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the scene is a bit like I mean for the whole music scene it's very bad and like so I mean it's it's really bad for the culture I guess mm -hmm. the whole situation and there is like not really a lot of help from the government from what I hear like uh, musicians are like the no one is organizing gigs and 
they get paid by by the gigs which are not happening so if they can't prove that they don't play they get no money and stuff like that so mm. I mean for the scene it's very bad no so I mean it's bad for everyone mm. yeah <laughs> it's not the best situation no really it's in. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I don't know if the if it makes more creative if everyone is like uh, more like isolated and f like afraid or whatever mm. yeah yeah we will see I don't know what happens yeah I don't follow the news anymore uh, yeah <laughs> it's making <you> depressed. <laughs> 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 depressed and see um, and with that um, what do you think about um, like what we do uh, with fantastic what do you think about uh, the, the local market how do you see it um, I don't care so much about local or not I think it's it's important that people do stuff and that's always good mm -hmm. I don't see any point in if it's from here or there I think if it's good it's good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but do you like I mean do you maybe uh, work with some local labels or national yeah if I like them I I think it's fine to sell their stuff and if I don't like it maybe someone else yeah. so it's like whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and um, to, um, to finish maybe you have something to say or uh, a record you like you want to talk about or present us um. Uh, it's always hard. Uh, <laughs> I like too many things to keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, can long, huh? Huh? it can be long, yeah. It can be. It can be long, though. Yeah. I mean, come and see, and we talk, and uh, yeah, and we see what everyone. Yeah. If yeah. Is a Just encourage sense. people yeah, to, yeah. to come to the yeah, shop. We are very like uh, have a wide range of music and knowledge. And so it's hard to fix on one thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> <laughs>